In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a website Sony offers that you can go into to see your compatibility between your different equipment with your camera gear. So does the lens work on a certain body? Does this accessory work with a body? And most of the time it's, it's everything is fully compatible, but what they do show you in this website is that there are some limitations sometimes. So I'm going to, let's go dive into it and show you this website. So the easiest way I know how to find it is to just go on Google search and type in Sony lens compatibility. You're going to get a website which lenses are supported for use with the camera. So if you click this link, it's going to open you up to a website that says which lens is supported for use of the camera. Just click on this first link, lens compatibility information website. Okay. Now when you click this website, you're going to get a chart of all the camera bodies that they offer. Now we got all the E-mount stuff and then the old NEX line, the QX1, if you're familiar with that one, the ZV line and the video cameras, anything that used E-mount essentially was, is right here. Now, if you click A-mount, you'll get all the A-mount cameras listed out for you and what's available. You've got the lenses. Again, we'll show you all the lenses. So if, if you want to know something specific about it, like a certain camera, say, you'll find out all the details about it. Now, in my previous video I just had about the A7R2 firmware wish list. I mentioned this website and showed it a little bit. So I wanted to expand on that with this video today. My name is Malcolm Walker, if you don't know me. And this channel is basically based around Sony camera equipment and photography, photography adventure type stuff. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. It's great to see you here. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. So let's click on body. Let's go to E-mount. And let's just go ahead and look at, say, uh, the A7R2. So you're going to find the A7R2 over here on the right column. We're going to click it. Now that's going to open up this additional window website that shows you all the lens compatibility. So the first thing we're going to see here is our fixed focal length lenses. And you can see it starts off at the SEL 11 F18. Now this is an APS-C lens and it shows you right here in the lower corner, APS-C format. You can see here's the 14G Master. It's a full frame as well as it tells you the series. So there'd be in the G Master lens, it's got the G Master designation in it. If we go over here to this new APS-C lens, the 1514, it's APS-C lens, and the G designation. So it's all useful information. Now you will see also up here on the top, there's a information button, as well as a blue check mark. A little chart over here says the check mark's fully compatible and the information is compatible, but with restrictions. So like, what are those restrictions? Well, let's click on this new 1514. Now remember, we looked it up for an A7R2. So this will change between every model camera they offer, and it'll be able to show you, you know, what's capable and what's not. So let's just let's leave it on the R2 for a moment. Let's click on the APS-C 1514. Now you get a little sample image from it. It says the angle of view will be narrowed down to that of an APS-C size since, or, or to APS-C size. Well, of course it is because it's an APS-C lens and it won't fill the image sensor of a 35 millimeter full frame. So that's something of a restriction that they're showing you on it. That's still one of the only reasons why it's there. The other one, and this is a very common one on the A7R2, the lens comp distortion setting will be set to auto. So basically there's the lens compensation adjustment inside the camera. It's just gonna say it'll be set to auto. You can't change it or do anything else about it. And that's the case with most, almost all these lenses in here. Uh, let's go and close this out. Let's look at the fully compatible one and we click on it. It just says fully compatible. We get a sample image and that's, that's that on that. Let's go down. Now you see that Sony has this all broken down into fixed focal length. So this is all our prime lenses at the start of this list. Now, excuse my, I hope you can see this all well behind me, but I wanted to make sure that uh, it was nice and big. So I've reduced my resolution a little bit. You can see we come down, we've got all our high-end G master lenses. One of the lenses that was I was surprised to find out wasn't that compatible is let's see, it wasn't that it's not compatible, it's that it had the most restrictions. You'll see is the 50 F12. Now I mentioned this again in the previous video. Like when F17 is selected in auto iris mode, the XF value recorded is F17, but the actual after value used for shooting is F18. So it's stuff like that, that you can find that, you know, a camera has limitations to reading. It just wasn't in the codex. All right, let's go ahead and move down this list. We have our three macro lenses Sony offers, the so APS-C size 30 millimeter and our two full frames, the 50 millimeter and the 90 millimeter. 
There's no restrictions with the 90 millimeter, and then we have a restriction on the 50. Let's see what the 50 says. On standby in movie mode, when recording movies, the lens goes into manual focus mode. If you update the camera system software to version 3.1 or higher, AF will be enabled. Now, AA, uh, I'm sorry, not AF. Uh, version 3.1 for the a7R2 was a big improvement for a lot of new lenses. It got a, a, a massive lens database. Now, again, I don't know if Sony's got this programmed in the camera already with 3.1 with all their future planned lenses or what they're doing to get that data to you on the camera, but this was a big improvement that allowed autofocus to work. So basically, as long as you're shooting 3.1 or higher, and hopefully you're on the 4.01 version of the camera because it's quite good, uh, this lens would technically have a check mark for fully compatible. So just keep that in mind. So next we go down to our zoom lenses. So Sony's listing down all our zoom lenses. We got our 10 to 18 APS-C, the new 10 to 20 power zoom, which is a G lens, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and scroll down the list here. We've got, um, you know, you got the, some of the cinema lenses they've made. You know, this is a great resource to kind of see what they actually offer because this list is very current and, it, and they keep it updated when a new model comes out. So you can see there's plenty of zoom lenses going all the way down to the 200, 600. Next, we have our teleconverters. They offer the 1.4 and the two-time teleconverter. And then we got A-mount lenses. So again, Tony had, when they bought uh, Konica Minolta, they got all the A-mount stuff and that was where the origins of the A-mount lenses. So. Again, it's showing you the compatibility with all these lenses. Now you can see none of these say fully compatible. There's a very good reason why, but let's go ahead and click on, let's click on something like the 51.4 lens. Um, and it's showing you the, the uh, LAEA adapters. Now the reason why it's doing that is because that's the way you get one of these lenses onto an E-mount camera, especially the A7R2 is with one of these adapters. And it tells you that on the newest version, the LAEA5, autofocus cannot be used. And let's go ahead and go check on the LAE A4. And this one does offer autofocus. It's a full frame um, adapter, lens adapter for these lenses. But you won't get functions like IIF, the focal plane phase detection AF function does not work. If you use manual focus in the aperture priority or shutter priority or manual mode, the shutter speed and the aperture cannot be adjusted during movie recording. So it's little, little details like that. So if you find yourself having a problem with a specific lens or an issue with your camera, hop into this lens compatibility and make sure there's no other issues that you're aware, that they're aware of that before you uh, condemn something. And you can see there's various versions of this LAEA adapter. So that's what all these are gonna say basically. Like let's look at this 300 2.8G lens from the old alpha days. Um, again, it shows you all the different things that will be affected. Like the LEA2, that's an APS-C mount. So the angle of view will be narrowed down to that of an APS-C size sensor. Let's see here. Uh, moving on, we got the macro lenses from, from the alpha mount stuff, then the zoom lenses. So all the way down to the zoom lenses. We got converters again for the A mount. It doesn't stop there. We continue down, we've got the Konica Minolta lenses. Now, I happen to own several of these lenses, but I don't own any of the adapters. So like, let's, let me pick one that I have, and that's a very common one. That would be, I think, the, what they call the beer can lens. Uh, let's go down to the zoom lenses here. So we're looking for the 70 to 210 four right here. Here it is. So let's click on this. Now it says it's a full frame lens and we're gonna have to have one of these adapters on. So ideally you're gonna want, if you're shooting the A7R2, we want the LAEA4 adapter. This is the most compatible. Operation sound with the diaphragm is recorded with internal microphone. Okay, so it's something that wants to know. Lens comp function does not work. Depending on the shooting conditions, the brightness of the picture may not be even. Set the front curtain shutter function to off. So they're giving you some, some little details and tips in there too. And you can see, we we'll go down here, we've got more older converters they offered. So that's everything in the lens lineup, and this is the lens compatibility chart. Now, let's just go back one real quick. Let's look at a new camera and see what, what we have. The ZV-E10 right here. Let's take a look at this guy, or the E1. Let's look at the E1. Um, again, it, we have the same compatibility restrictions on some of them, this being an APS-C lens. It's the same thing as the A7R2. Here's one that was the, the, the 50 macro. We clicked on it. There's no restrictions, fully compatible, just as the A7R2 is after the 3.1 update. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you today. It's just a quick video showing you this website. It's a very handy resource that Sony offers to us. 
and uh, definitely take advantage of it. It's There's a lot of information in here and, and a way to break it down into uh, the, whatever you want to look at. If you have a specific lens you want to check out, look at it for, for that. If you have a specific camera, go by camera. Thanks for stopping by and watching this video. If you uh, liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.